Hey everyone, this is Elaine from ES Art and Design and today I am hopefully going to do a straight pour on this massive 24 by 24 canvas. This is my biggest one so far and I'm hoping it turns out well and if it doesn't, well, you might never get to see it. This is the first time I am speaking in one of my videos as I'm trying to be brave and trying to get used to doing different kinds of videos so i will first show you my colors if i can remember which is which this is the phthalo cyanine blue mixed with silver from the specialist craft range it's the xl and i just had the idea of mixing some silver into some of my colours to try and get the kind of metallic iridescent feel to them. Um, we'll see whether that works out or not. I <laughs> don't know. Um, most of my paints are from Specialist Crafts from the um, well, a different X4, X2, X6 ranges. Um, this is blue violet from that range um, I do like their paints and well delivery seems to be a lot quicker than most places at the moment um, so that's that color this is my black again from it's the X4 and I think <laughs> I'm not 100% sure I think I put a small bit of gold into it maybe because it is from a previous pour so I'm not 100% sure so sorry <laughs> um, this is x6 gold I really like this gold Um, it's not too light and it's not too dark it's a little bit thicker than the rest of my paint and I'm hoping that means it will not disappear and one of my new favorite colors I just think this is lovely and it is the Amsterdam acrylics um, bluish green and I of course stuck some silver <laughs> into it to give it a bit of a shimmer but I really, really like the color of this. My my favorite colors at the moment are blues and greens. It hasn't really changed. But if you know me, you know I love black. <laughs> Which I'm finding out I like other colors. So this is um. Which one is this? Oh, it's both the bluish green. A greenish blue iridescence from PBO and I have mixed in a small bit of the Decoart Satin Enamel so I'm going to see if I can get some cloudy effects today I haven't been <laughs> that successful in previous pours um, really <laughs> crossing my fingers today for a good result um, and my white is the X4 mixed with the satin enamel. And my pouring medium, sorry, a bit, is the No Nonsense PVA mix 70 to 30 ratio with water. And then mixed, I think, one to one with the paints and just kind of thin slightly to consistency with water. Oh, so it's showtime and I'm really hoping this video stays on because I've been having trouble with it clicking off something to do with memory or something, something technical that I'm not too up to date on. So let's get to filling our cup and layering. Um, 
I'm going to go in first with some white, just a small bit for the middle. Teeny. And a little bit of gold. A little bit more. And just a teensy drop of white again. Okay, first blue and blue violet. No, I'm not a hundred percent sure how these <laughs> colors will go together. I'm as always, winging it and hoping for the best. As I find if I try and plan, I can try and plan, but it doesn't exactly work out. Never find out with all boards. You have an idea in your head. Think, oh, I'll try that. And very rarely you will get to execute it near enough to where you want to get it if you're lucky so I'm just going to go and wing it and see what happens and see if we have a happy accident Also, I'm just going to say, I am in the lovely sunny southwest of Ireland, where we are currently waiting to hear if they're going to lock us back down again. All these levels that they keep saying, no, it'll definitely be level three or level four or level five. No, sorry, we'll change it to three pint whatever with a little bit more restrictions. It's not at all confusing for everybody. But we'll get on with it. Keep going. That's kind of how I started my pouring was earlier in the year. Just Needed something to do, something to keep the mind off, not to panic. I think I've always been creative, like doing arts and crafts, things like that. So, kind of fell into this from watching good old YouTube videos. What are people's YouTube videos? Oh, <clears throat> well, I could give that a go. And I did. And I loved it. And as you all know, <laughs> we've become quite addicted quite fast. And a couple of months later, we know things and words like cell activator and Floatrol from the US and Aussie Floatrol and all the other wonderful terminologies that we have learned and become obsessed with this past what month are we in now? October, so eight, eight, nine months. Okay. I think that's enough layering. So, say a little pouring prayer, something good might come out of this. Oh, I might actually, yeah, 
do Puddle first. Are we still recording? I think so. The itty bitty puddle. <laughs> It'll do. Okay, then be brave. Here we go. God knows. God bless. Comes my wet. I've watched so many videos of this, <laughs> of this type of pour, particularly Sarah Mac. Hi Sarah. Um, there's a lot of YouTubers, pourers, artists out there that I've been watching and admiring and learning from. Um, Sarah Mack is one, uh, Tammy Anderson, uh, ooh, Eric Hughes and Mark Gildee, of course, Mr. Irish. Um, there's loads. I mean, everybody is so nice and so helpful. And it's one of the things I love about our community is everybody sharing helpful tips and tricks, knowledge, ingredients. than I thought it would be. So I mixed my paints yesterday. So I'm usually so impatient. I mix them and go, eh, and then just end up with a lot of bubble. Uh, I suppose it's not too bad. Now, do I tilt and stretch a little? Or do we add a flow extender? Let's see. Water, it's moving. Yeah, I think. Okay. <sighs> Usually, I have too much paint. This time I think not enough paint I'm in. Okay, so I'm going to add a flow extender. I'll thin this. Actually, it's not too bad. Thin a bit. And well, I'll be right back. And we are back. 
and we have our flow extender down which I mixed I had mixed up already just in case um I really like spreading it out nice and <laughs> evenly I am a bit of a nerd when it comes to just the therapy of the art just putting the paint on spreading it out and that's often quite the boring part for people if they're watching your videos so I said I'd pause and do it so now on to the next scary step after I torch some bubbles So I hope everybody is keeping me safe and well for COVID. We are currently in quarantine here in this household as one of our children has been named as a close contact to some a confirmed case so this is fun times for us but well just requires her having a test and us sitting and waiting but we'll get through that we've gotten through the last eight or nine months so shouldn't be a positive result I wouldn't think but just to be on the safe side we are all as a family quarantined now here we go and just slowly trying to stretch and bring it back. Probably do not have this entire canvas in frame. I have my tripod, it doesn't have very long legs. <clears throat> Hopefully you will enjoy this little video and if you do you can hit the subscribe button and the little notification bell so whenever I attempt another video can see that one too. Um, I usually do sped up videos and well depending on how this turns out and how brave I am <laughs> you might get another sped up video or you might get to hear me blather on because that's what I do. I think that might be an advantage, maybe, being able to babble because you really, really need to fill uncomfortable silences. So you just end up waffling as you go. I normally listen to music as I, um, I don't want to watch it on there. Normally listening to music as I do this, 
I can actually hear the radio on in the kitchen from here. Not loud enough, but. Uh, said I would give this a go. Would he happen to y'all? So no radio. My arms are getting tired. <laughs> Just go back to the middle and take a rest. Oosh. How are we going? I'm not doing too bad. I think. I don't know. What do you think? You can leave a comment below. Video. Show me your support. Any hints or tips? Show the love. this bit <sighs> not doing too bad and we have some clouds I might get it this way. My arms won't get too loud. Back to center. There's always a lump of something in my paint. We'll get that in a minute. Easier for you to see, maybe. I'm not quite sure until I go and look at the deal myself. Which way it is looking? No, maybe like this. And this. <laughs> Some of this. It's a bit more black than we had intended. On this side. And I get rid of it. I don't know.
den Hans, den Rutsch. I think that I got something that I actually like, which is quite hard for me because I am my own worst critic. Quite hard on myself. And what it's all those cliche things of, you know, beauty is in the eye of the beholder, what I might like, someone else might hate, vice versa. Uh, Nice cells is popping up. I didn't lose all of my gold. Nice. I like the blue and purple together in this corner. And this one. The satin enamels don't job mostly. are actually good which is mostly my corners just a slight miracle for me as I do become afraid if I tilt too much I'll lose a lot of part of the painting that I like Sometimes, or nearly always, out on the edges. Mm. So, a few guys. I said this is the largest canvas. I think that I have tried tried this technique or pour on smaller canvases and I end up putting too much paint. So I said, go big, go home. Let's see how it works out. I shall pause you there and then try and bring you down for a close up. Thanks for watching, guys. Second. And here it is. I can't get the entire one in. Oh, I'm going to take some stills and put it at this beginning or end or both of this video. Um, nearly love sparkly cells. I love that corner. I don't know if it's more spacey or cloudy or more underwater. To me, it's like a sea cave going right in. Or maybe that way, like a vortex. Or 
going to store them. Well, it could be, you know, but I've had the earth. <laughs> I don't know. You can see loads of things. You look at different people, see different things. Anyway, that is my painting for today. I hope you enjoyed my video. Hit like, subscribe, share, maybe, if you like. And hit the notification bell and you'll see more of my waffling on and hopefully more pretty paintings and more pours. And you can follow me on Facebook, Yes Art and Design. And Instagram, I think it's es dot art underscore design. And most of my paintings and jewellery and keepsake boxes and coasters, etc. are all for sale. So you just PM me and hopefully my website will be up and running soon. Have a nice day. Stay safe. Love to you all. Thanks for watching.